part two of Maximize Results in a Month. Tony and Lindsay here. And today we are gonna focus on a question that we got from Joe on Instagram, so thank you for your question. He was saying, is it too late for him to get that six pack, Tony, because he's 51 years old. And we said, it's never too late. But we do have some suggestions and I said, you know, can you give me an idea of what your current fitness and nutrition routine is like? because in order for us to really guide someone, we have to know where they're starting from. We can't just give a cookie cutter um, meal plan and workout plan, it doesn't work like that. So he shared with us that he's 51, he does not have a workout routine right now, and he is eating nothing for breakfast. <gasps> I almost had a heart attack. It's metabolism. Oh my gosh. But he is having black coffee for breakfast, and um, he's not really eating lunch, he says a little snack, and his dinner is like a huge meal, he says. And then he probably goes to bed after that. So, we got lots of tips for you, Joe, but we're gonna keep it simple for you. Okay. Fitness tip, let's start there. All right, let's go fitness tip. First off, uh, since he, uh, you have not been working out for an extended period of time, the main thing you're gonna wanna do there is start slow. Mm -hmm. Don't jump in um, at, a, at you know full blast when you get started. You wanna go ahead and start slow. So, Lindsay and I talked, and probably the best thing for him is to go ahead and start with like three days a week, mm -hmm. um, making sure that he's, he's Definitely touching his touching his legs, potentially two days a week. Main, main reason for that is touching your legs is going to be able to boost your metabolism. With boosting your metabolism, in turn, is going to make you hungry, and you need to, he needs to make sure that he's bringing as many meals as he possibly can because his metabolism is extremely slow based mm -hmm. upon the fact that he's not eating. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the leg day, we're actually going to give you a sample leg day today, but basically because um, we were like. You know, should he do any cardio at first? Should he just focus on the weightlifting? And, and we figured really just focusing on the weightlifting and because he was saying is cardio the way to go? And so most people think that. They think, oh, if I want to burn fat, let me do cardio. And our approach is a little bit different and people get better results when they put more of the emphasis on the weightlifting at first. Do you want to exactly. touch on that a little bit? Yeah, a lot of times uh, people don't understand. You, you burn a lot more calories um, when you lift weights than when you, when you do cardio. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of times when people get started working out, first thing they do is they say, well, I'm going to start doing some cardio so I get used to training with you. Mm -hmm. But in turn, you really, really uh, want to get involved in doing weightlifting because your fat is actually burned in your muscle. Yeah. Um, so you want to make sure that you get started with that. But you, like I said, you want to get started slow. You don't want to jump, you know, full in. Because a lot of times people will end up getting in a position where they, they end up quitting. Mm -hmm. You know, so start slow. And when I mean slow, start with achievable goals. Yeah. But make sure that you're, make sure you are lifting weights. Exactly. So we're going to give you an idea on what you can do for leg day. Tony is just going to kill me today. I can't wait. I came in and I was like, Tony, I'm low on carbs because I got my shoot coming up. He's like, I don't care. I'm that still going to kill you. Yeah. That was an excuse. I was giving an excuse. No excuse policy. Right now, I'll do whatever he says. Okay. So leg workout. And then after Joe, we're going to give you a nutrition tip. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thanks for your question.
done with the workout and it was really intense today. I would yeah. say, <laughs> I feel better now because I ate. Yes, I did eat immediately after, but man, you kicked my butt today. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was it was intense. It was good though. I um, definitely wouldn't have done this stuff on my own. So that's why I'm glad that you um, were there telling me what to do. And I, he did um, use my line against me a couple of times. Yes. I said I'm going to do whatever you say. And I was doing the leg press, and you said you said you would do whatever I said or whatever. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're going to hold her to that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so to help Joe out, he was saying that he skipped breakfast, black coffee, small snack for lunch, and a huge dinner. So. Our main tip to Joe was gonna be to eat at least three meals a day, do not skip breakfast, get something within 30 minutes of waking, which might be tough at first if you're not used to it, but something with protein for sure within 30 minutes of waking. Do you wanna to add to that? I would definitely say that um, because with him not eating, he's just slowing his metabolism down throughout the day. Um, his energy levels is, is gonna um, be lacking throughout the day. And it's really just you know teaching your body, but start again, start slow, um, set yourself up for something you can achieve. Don't you know, set yourself up for failure. But I, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, and as far as the lunch goes, he says he was just having a little snack. Um, a lot of times, what I find is snacks are completely devoid of protein, sure. and so we want to get something with protein in with the lunch. And you know, if right now, Joe, you're eating a 2,000 calorie dinner. You can, even if you were to still eat those same 2,000 calories, but just space it up throughout the day, maybe like 500 for breakfast, 500 for lunch, and 1,000 for dinner even. I mean, that's still a, a heavy dinner. Um, that would even, I would say, do better as far as weight loss. Um, so, you know, we hear about calories in, calories out, and there is truth to that for sure. Um, but even something where you have the same amount of caloric input, <laughs> Um, you can actually still burn fat or find your body composition is better because you're getting your protein space throughout the day Which research shows is one of the best things that you can do for fat loss and for muscle building is get your protein space throughout the day Yeah, I agree with that and I would also to say it's just one of the key things is make sure that you don't eat to get full mm -hmm. Eat to carry yourself along to the next meal um, You don't ever want to um, feel hungry and you never and you never want to be full because that's you know It's gonna slow your metabol mm -hmm. uh, metabolism down. So you just really want to focus on um, carry yourself along to the next meal. I call it grazing. Right, yep, that's good. Yeah, because we've all had those meals where we're like, oh my gosh, I'm so full. Why did I eat that much? Yeah, and so it takes me, I know, like I'll eat and I'll still feel hungry as soon as I'm done, but then about 10 minutes later, I'm like, actually, I'm full. Exactly, so you yeah. just kind of let yeah, your body catch up. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's um, a good enough answer because I, I'm a huge fan of like one little change at a time. If each week you made one little change rather than trying to completely overhaul your life in a week, um, which is usually not sustainable, and then you go back to your old ways, if you just made one little change each week, you would be, you know, a mile ahead after a month or two. Yeah. So, just going back to what I said, it's just making sure that you um, set yourself up, you know, for an achievable goal. Mm -hmm. um, um, and each, each, one, each one of us knows that. It's, it's something that we can write down and say, you know what, I can definitely do this, and then next week, you know, set another goal that you definitely can achieve. Mm -hmm. And then as the mark, as a, you start getting more healthy, you start feeling better about yourself, your mood changes, um, you start just add, adding a little bit to that uh, each week. Yeah, I love it. So um, thank you again, Joe, for reaching out to us with that question. We're gonna do another video. Tony actually told me in the middle of the workout, he's like, I, I don't want you to get used to this because I'm not gonna train you every day, Lindsay. <laughs> Maybe, we might. We might, that. yeah. We'll Once a week we'll do these videos, so I can't get spoiled over here having Tony kick my butt every single day. But we'll do another video based on a question that we get. So please comment on this post or on this YouTube video with questions that you have. And if you have something coming up that you're trying to get ready for, remember to let us know because you might get chosen to work with us so we can help you get ready. Any last minute thoughts? That is it. Stay healthy, stay fit, and uh, we will see you soon. Take care.